Previously on Sky Survivor, after Ola's elimination, Barbarossa threw the challenge to try and keep their numbers. Josiah, Haz, and Sean try to get Alec to flip on Lexi, but Alec received a disadvantage that required him to get a vote at the next council, or he'd be facing a self-vote the round after. Because of this, Alec asked Josiah to vote for him, but Josiah saw this as an opportunity to get Lexi to flip on Alec. Lexi, however, saw this as an opportunity to get leverage to try and get Barbarossa's target off the pass. Ultimately, she was unsuccessful. They started a huge live scramble at Council, and has played an idol on Sean, sending Alec home right before the merge. 13 are left, who will be voted out tonight. The last thing I wanted was Alec to get voted out, and um, he did. And I have never been this sad about someone getting voted out. Bro. I love Alec. That guy made the game so fun, so enjoyable. It was so fun to play with the homie, and now he's not here, and it's my fault. Mostly my fault. Everyone knew we were friends, but no one knew how close we were. Like, it was just as soon as I thought of something new or had another idea. Um, I always went to him right away. He came up to me afterwards and he's like, man, it's no hard feelings, man. That was, that was good gameplay. Like you, you, you're, it, look, man, we, we're, we're bros, we're homies. It's all good. And man, I almost cried. I literally like got home <laughs> and like just cried again. Cause I'm like, <laughs> like, I don't want him out. Like, no. <laughs> I like still can't believe he's out. I haven't really processed it. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow <laughs> and be sad all over again. Literally as soon as Alec left, I gave him a hug and was like borderline crying because I'm like, no, like, like I just needed him. Like, like we were gonna get to the top three together like that was gonna happen that was the plan like we weren't targeted we were good and it was like an accident that he got voted out so that makes it worse that might have been the most insane play i've seen like in survivor in just any game that i've ever played that was absolutely incredible and I fucking owe my life to Haz. During the conversation with Haz, I was under the impression that we were voting out Sean. And I was like, there's no way it's gonna change. You know, this is obviously the best fucking move. So like, I I take Pinky promises very seriously. We were talking and she's like, I'm 100% not voting for you. Like we Pinky promised everything. You Pinky promised? You Pinky promised. And Did so she offer to Pinky promise? She's the one that said, she goes, I do this with my boyfriend all the time. She would think you promised. And I was like, yeah. And as stupid as it is that a pinky promise would like get in the way of me wanting to vote her out. That's what it was, you know? And it's like, obviously more than that. Like I obviously really like her and like feel like scum voting her out just because, you know, she's come to me for advice and we've been good friends and stuff. But at the same time, like, I don't know, just that like took it to like, another level of me not wanting to vote her out. She pinky promised we were fine. She was like, I'm gonna try to get Vito, Lily, and Alec to sway towards Josiah or Sean. And then I was like, and she was like, but if it comes down to it and they're voting you, I'm not gonna vote you. And I was like, sick. They were like, what if we did Haz instead of Sean? I feel like it just makes the most sense. You know, like we don't think Phoenix and Haz will work with us. Like they had saying this, been saying this whole time, and I was pissed because I knew we needed to keep working with Haz and Phoenix. Like it does not make sense for us to not vote out Josiah and Sean while we can. Like they are obviously going to continue working with Calico people. Like why would they like work with us? Haz and Phoenix. Phoenix is close with Emily at this point because they went through that whole voting Ola out. Like they're good. Why can't we be good with Haz? Lexi comes out she's avoiding me we line up and she's crying and she's like i have to vote with them and then i started tearing up and i was like what the fuck i, I was know. like you pinky promise man I, my life like flashed before my eyes i was like 
I was like, I felt so betrayed. I was like, I seriously can't trust anyone. They just weren't listening. And it was so frustrating knowing that I was right. Like, I don't know if that's like cocky to say, but like, I knew that, that like had to be what was best. Like it, it was the only thing that made like common sense. She got her idol from her dorm. And we thought she's gonna use it for herself. Um, she ended up using it for Sean. And because we thought she was gonna use it for herself, we we picked Sean to vote on. All four of us. And I like I was persistent like all day to not vote Sean because I actually really like him and I wanted to have his trust. It was stupid. It was so stupid. I at that point was just like I need to save Haz. Like that was like my main goal. And I was like, I'm just trying to like like help Haz make her feel better. And, and like I didn't realize I could have just told her not to play it and Sean would have gone home. <laughs> would have been one less calico person we have to worry about. Alec would still be here. But they played it on Sean and they voted out Alec and I just it is my fault. It is completely my fault. I was so upset with Lexi and I was like, you need to tell me, like, please tell me right now, like, if, if you want me to trust you at all, like, tell me who you're, you're you, who you guys are voting. And she was like, Sean. And so then I didn't tell anyone that Lexi told me. So, like, nobody, because she was like. But Lexi had the audacity to tell so, everyone literally all of your business. Has, knows where my bodies are buried. And like she can either be like my partner in crime and like help me bury more bodies, or like she can be you know my fucking grave digger. That's what she's like freaking out about right now is that she thinks I'm gonna tell everyone that she said it was Sean, and so but I didn't tell anyone. I just said I figured it was him because I heard his name come up because he has the advantage. I and know so, she's a genuinely nice person. I don't but trust like, her what gameplay. The fuck. I don't. That I, is so warped. I know. She like literally made this harder on everyone else. No offense to you, Queen. It was so stupid. Cause now I have this huge secret that Has knows about. Has can spill it. Like <sighs> I just felt like it was such a stupid foresaw that they weren't gonna vote her anymore like reading their minds and then deciding between me and Josiah and figuring it out that like I'm the most likely pick most likely because of my advantage it it's fucking incredible and I had never felt so much like emotion like this is the first week I thought that was insane like the week that like Darion got voted out that was fucking incredible the week that Ola got out not great but still just like an insane council but this fucking takes the cake and I just I feel it's just so much like survivor's guilt because I genuinely I don't I didn't do anything to deserve this spot i i wish she said something earlier because then we could have voted i could have still voted alec and stayed true to my word and which i did and then we could have had sean and has vote for whoever like i would have rather seen vita go than alec if has was it a genius and selflessly was like you know what i will risk them voting me out just so sean can stay in the game it's absolutely unbelievable unbelievable to me and i honestly don't think it could have gone better if this entire show was scripted just the fact that that all happened purely by like has's whim and how everything just played out i'm just so fucking blessed to be here right now we're down on the numbers on barbarossa we're three three and i was just like obviously I had an in with Haz, but it was just such an emotionally intense night that I literally threw up after Haz played her idol because my anxiety just got to a point where like, I, like I, when I was in high school, I was really bad about throwing up because of anxiety, but like I haven't felt that since high school. 
so the fact that that like came up again i guess shows how stressful i, I how stressed i was feeling after rick sean hugged me he was like i owe you everything <laughs> i was like yeah um i don't know if i can i don't trust anybody now calico has the numbers and we don't have a reason now to really betray each other and we're going into a round where I can use my advantage. It was just such a crazy, crazy council. There's tears, there are people vomiting, there are people just throwing tantrums like myself and just regretting everything. I love you, Alec. You'll be missed.
running. There you go. Do not trip on the stairs, please. my shoes. I fell off while I was running.
perfect form, Vita. Emily's got some Just gotta sit down, Keon. Keon wins individual immunity. Cannot be voted out, cannot be the first member of the jury. Good job, Vita. All right, Keon. Keon, come get it. This is yours, you are not voted out. We will get a larger one, but for now, Keon cannot be voted out. Everybody else eligible for the vote. One of you will be the first member of the jury and the eighth person voted out of Scotty Survivor Pirates of Lunch. He's dying. We merged! I made it to merge! That was my one goal to like for this game was to like make friends, I guess. But also make it to merge! Like, that is so exciting! I made jury. Now, the goal is to get to single digits. That, if I can get to single digits, I made a real impact on the season. You know, I'm not gonna be like an early boot that people forget about. So I'm thinking, wow, you know, I'm, I'm in trouble. And then, all of a sudden, it's drop your buffs. And I, I, I sigh because I'm like, wow, this is, this is exactly what I needed for my game, you know? Um, this is exactly what I needed because now it's a, it's a restart. You know, I can get back to working. I, it opened so many windows. It was kind of funny that at council, I was like, oh, Keon is going to be out of here next. Like 100% like people want him out. And then he got immunity. Phoenix and I looked to each other right before challenge and we're like, we just need to beat Keon. I kind of feel good about him having immunity because it could be a good strategy to keep him in longer because he's a good backup. So like when there's someone, when there's a point where like everyone likes each other and like we really don't want anyone out, that would be a good time to get him out. Obviously I'm really happy I won the challenge because now it's so fresh. It's so fresh for everyone, you know? Uh, everyone's starting to get to know everyone. We're all in the same crew, and I can talk to people without worrying about anything. I stick to my word. He is not making it past, like, maybe give him one more vote, but, like, even the next one, if he doesn't get immunity again, he's going to get voted out. A lot of people don't like him, and he's an easy target. People don't like Keon. So I guess he just doesn't have very good manners or whatever. But my experiences with Keon have been pretty good so far. And most of that is because he came into this game right away trying to work with me. They're going to want to vote you out next round For if sure. they can. For sure. And they're... I got to win another. The problem is the immunity challenges, you can't, like, unless they're all, like, somewhat athleticism based, I don't think I'll win. I still trust him a lot. Um... And he trusts me too, because I'm one of the few people that actually have his back. But being best friends with the guy that everybody hates is not a good look. Protect yourself because you don't need to like, we can, we'll be aligned always, but you don't need to publicly be aligned. Like you can tell people that like, like I trust you enough where if you tell someone something, I'm, I'm gonna believe what you tell to me, not what you tell them. So like you tell whatever you gotta tell to keep your game the best. Right. And I'll trust, I trust you enough to like not care. I think Emily's the way to go because um, I think the the longer you let her stay in the game, the more dangerous she becomes. So I'm, uh, I talked with Josiah and uh, I'm pretty sure he's on board. I'm pretty sure it should be pretty easy to get people on board. I think our main goal should be a tie. Try and get a Calico United vote here. I'm really going to make sure to use this week with immunity to my biggest advantage because with without the fear of being voted out, I can be a little more confident. I can go up to more people. And I think the vote is going to be pretty straightforward, hopefully. Um, I, I'm thinking we go Emily. Emily's dangerous. Emily's yeah, I would love, love to get her out. I just don't know how realistic it is. I think if you make it to Phoenix, like yo, it, it, it's gonna be Phoenix. It's gonna it's gonna be her or Emily. Like she's gonna vote Emily. I want to get Phoenix out because she's a tough player. 
She's dangerous, okay? She's- I know she's trouble, and I knew that from the beginning, since she pulled that flip on Luke. And now she pulled the flip on Ola. So two times, she pulled a major blind side. And I- I just... Really... I'm- what's she gonna do this time? Like, I have my doubts that she's loyal to Emily. If everybody's gunning for Emily, trust me, I will gun for Emily, because she also scares me in this game. But... You know, what What are the chances that, like, what if the two of them are working together? Phoenix is like, oh my god, I can't believe Mia thought I had the idol of Hotsart the whole time. So just like a bold-faced fucking lie. I do obviously want to take her out, because like, I mean, but that's what, what happened with Alec? Later. Yeah, like, it, it is not a now exactly. problem. I am going to be like, listen, no bullshit. Um, I know the idol was yours. Like, because I just don't see a reason, like, continuing that lie and, like, Haas literally admitted it to Lexi. Oh but I don't know how I'm gonna play it because, like, obviously, Haas is her closest alliance. So I think I'm just gonna be like, I have no idea who to vote because Keon is safe and, like, you know. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, me and Lexi, like, really wanna work with you and Haas. You really trust me next. Yeah, I, I really do. I, like, I haven't worked with her strategically, but, like, I really, like, I can see myself really trusting her. Yeah. Like, she's so sweet. And I also really do, like, trust has up to a point yeah i just like, has because phoenix trust has. yeah scary shit i'm very scared i'm very worried i don't want to get voted out but i honestly don't know i vita is safe because she is mia and i think jesse's safe because i don't think anyone put her name on the chopping block chopping block so if it was gonna be a girl i feel like it's gonna be me bitch i've also been hearing emily name thrown around and what i don't want is i don't want them to target emily and just start picking off barbarossa folks one by one especially because the five girls in barbarossa have such a strong alliance let's start with keon i hate him yeah okay so, i always see him and then we always make awkward eye contact and no one says hi i ain't been doing nothing but my squad has been the breadwinners are gonna win because They're so fucking talented. So Phoenix um, is sitting next to them and Mia's like, oh my god, look at this shit. And like shows her you guys' text and is like laughing at what you're saying to Ola. I found out from Phoenix that she showed uh, Ola texts that Vita had sent her about stuff that like, like a, about like a personal fight they were having and was like laughing about it with Ola. And that really upsets me. She was like, can I tell Vita about this? And I was like, well, like, it is her, like, right to know that her texts are being shared with all of us. So, yeah, it is okay to tell Vita about this. Mia filmed her confessional in front of Ola and Phoenix and was like, at this point, I was like, oh, I don't really trust Keon. I think we're going Emily, but like, who's to say if my alliance will hold in front of Ola and Phoenix? <laughs> but then she, like, told everyone and I think like miscommunication happened and like parts of it like uh like Vita was told that that there's a video of them like scrolling through it and that a confessional was filmed in front of me where she said there's a video of them scrolling through it which is like completely untrue I like I can't even come up with that because that just sounds like so Disney Channel, like mani maniacal evil. I don't think Mia could even pull that off. I love Vita so much, and I know that she has been so loyal and so kind to Mia throughout this game, even when honestly I don't think she was really deserving of that loyalty. Wait, what was it? What was happening? Like, the, no, 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 no,
but like no matter what, Hans and I are going to it because we don't like her. Like she also is just lying blatantly to both of them. <laughs> the thing is that she's, 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 she's also telling different lies to Haas and Phoenix, which, <laughs> which Phoenix is a girl. Why would you do that? <laughs> Trust is broken, but I really liked Emily. Like I genuinely like her. She reminds me of like my friend from high school. And like, oh, everything. This all started with Barbarossa targeting Haz. For this council, like Josiah was like, I'm gonna vote with you, Josiah. Mm. Yeah. And so I was like, that's good. I'm gonna keep that to myself. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it to myself. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yes. What, what I've been sort of not sure about is if I should vote with Calico, my blood, my original crew, or if I should vote with Jesse and the rest of Barbarossa because of this new alliance we sort of formed. I don't feel a lot of loyalty to Calico really and it's just, I know there's a couple people that really want to keep it together. Um, like who? I'm assuming I, I, I feel like Keon, I feel like, you know, has to a certain extent. I feel like maybe Troy, maybe Stutt, but I feel like they're just going to go with the numbers when it comes down to a vote. I've always wanted to work with Jessie since day one, and she's somebody I feel like I could go a long way with. I always have. Why would you want to if there are like snakes within your faction? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, but also, who knows if people are thinking about stuff. Like, the way I'm looking at it right now, like, I think it's gonna stop, again, I, I think it's gonna stop being Barbarossa versus Calico and start being more like, who's the closest? She sees Emily how I see Mia. Like, we could vote her out later and we should take care of the threats right now. Um, so I don't know what that's gonna be like. I feel good about it. The only thing is like, you know, obviously you're gonna let your emotions take control sometimes in the decisions you make in this game and who you want to vote out and all that stuff and sometimes people really want to vote people out that they don't like or that they don't know well or they're not super fond of or this person wasn't nice to this person josiah uh, tentatively agreed to vote mia but now he's saying some whack shit like oh i don't remember if we decided on mia or phoenix like trying to get me to like tell him basically i am here to make friends but this is survivor like i just gotta start thinking strategically and my issue is that my strategy up to this point was just trying to be friends with everybody and make everybody like me which it's worked i got this far i made the merge but eventually i'm gonna have to start making choices and that's when you can't make everybody happy and not everybody's gonna like you so now i gotta decide if i want to vote with my original crew or if i want to vote with this new alliance I've got, which I, I, I don't think that really means we have to vote with each other this time, and I could explain that. My issue is because Alec, like, Alec got voted out basically as a fucking fluke, and now I, I've lost a big ally in the game, so I'm stressed. But you know what? We're gonna make it work. We're gonna figure. We're gonna figure it out. The Calico people kind of like. We're trying to stick together because we have the numbers and we kind of scrambled last minute to get something done and hopefully trying to vote out Emily. Fingers crossed it works. Um, if not, we have heard that the Barbarossa people really want to vote out Haz or Phoenix. I think that Troy Loki has my back. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm very scared. I'm very worried. I still think Emily would be a good ally in the future. Merge is a big thing. Definitely like you know, like a huge time for new alliances to be formed and for like old Calico ties to kind of die out and for people to like make new Barbarossa friends. Um, so like, I don't know, like who knows how much of that we'll see going forward. First it was a little quiet. I had really only heard from Emily like the morning after the challenge. But before I knew it, I was getting messages from everyone and everyone left in the season, like Lexi and uh, Phoenix and Stunt and Sean and Keon, Josiah, and Jesse. I'm like, I am the bell of the ball. Everyone wants to talk with me and and hang out with me, which is wonderful because 
really, to survive a vote, you just need people to not want to target you that specific round. Wait, so we haven't talked in like a little bit, but I guess we haven't needed to. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, honestly, yeah, voting all out was wild. That was wild. That was a lot. I was stressed. <laughs> that was very stressful, very tense. Mm -hmm. I feel all right about it though, honestly. Um, I think it was a good move, like, in yeah. hindsight. This week I got matched with Stut. I've been having the most insane luck with this anchor somehow. Troy, honestly, a lot of the time just, like, is, like, pretty busy, right? And so he's just kind of gonna go with whatever happens, which, like, I do too. Is that's a, I don't know, not really, I wouldn't call it a strategy, but yeah, I feel like we both often, like, are complaining to each other because we just kind of, like, end up like that. Mia and I have not really been on the same page from the beginning in this game. So I'm like, okay, that wouldn't be too bad of a loss. And if Emily wants that and is pushing for that, and we could just get an entire kind of anonymous sweep against that, then that would be great. I feel like there's just anyone voting for me, it sounds like. So okay. yeah, I don't know. I feel pretty fine with that. I feel like I kind of kind of killed. I feel like me and I were pretty <laughs> tight, but then really killed that with the whole Ola vote out. I still get weird vibes from Mia. Which, like, it makes sense. I just, yeah. Like, we were pretty tight, and then I voted Ola out, and she obviously doesn't trust me at all anymore. Um, which, like, yeah, makes sense on her part. It just makes me scared. Like, like I want her out. And apparently, rumor has it that it was all of, like, Lily, Lexi, um, Vita, Emily, and Jesse were all, all met up for dinner last night, which I'm like, all right, these... They are, these people are very loyal to each other. Like, I don't think the original Barbarossa crew is ever gonna really turn on each other without, um, what, unless, like, something extreme were to happen. Like, I, like, I feel like their plan right now is probably to get us to just pick off each other, like, starting with Mia, until all of a sudden the Barbarossa girls are the final five. And obviously that is not a good plan for me because I'm not a Barbarossa girl. All, like, all five of them seem super tight and like I don't yeah. know if they would ever <laughs> really turn on each other. Just got Boba with, who was there? It was like Haz, Phoenix, Sean, and Troy. Yeah, so some like OG Calico squad. I'm thinking I set up like a primary alliance, like my main alliance being Phoenix, Haz, Stut, Troy, plus whoever else they may also potentially want to trust. Wait, we should like exchange council info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was really good. I feel like that's a super strong group. Like, who knows at some point, right? Like, we'll have to turn on each other. But at least, like, numbers wise, it feels like a good size, right? Because it's like small enough that there are plenty of people outside of that. So, like, plenty of other people to vote off, but big enough that, like, I don't know, we've actually got some, like, solid numbers there. Um, I feel like I can really trust them. I think definitely I'll worry a bit once we get down to smaller numbers, because I know, like, like Phoenix and Haz are, like, tight, right? Like, they're not gonna turn on each other. If it wasn't for the fact that Haz fully saved me, I would almost side more with them, like, Vita, maybe, like, Mia, Keon, and some others um, going forward. But how it is, I just, like, I can't turn against Haz because I'm not a dick. I mean, like, I could be that guy to, like, totally backstab her, and that would just make for, I don't know, I think it would weigh too much on my conscience. I really wanted to target Mia, but I don't know if that's Yeah. Bottom. I'm just a little nervous because we need numbers. Yeah. And they're going to be voting me. I kind of want to get out, like, you know, or something. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. We don't have the numbers to vote out Mia. On the other side, like me and Keon, Keon and Mia were initially with Ola, and obviously the three, me, Ola, Keon, that was like the big group, and now I guess Mia's kinda in there as well. And Mia is connected to Vita, who seems like really wants to ally with me, though obviously now can't trust a thing she says, little snake. Um, but something like Keon, Vita, Mia, that group, plus you know anyone else that they trust, I feel like that's another potential alliance I could try to set up. But when it comes down to it, I feel like I kind of have allegiance towards the Haz group for obvious reasons, at least for the next couple rounds. We're on jury, so I'm guaranteeing that Vita's not winning, no matter what. Yeah. 
Like, I don't care. Vita's not gonna win. Like, you're, she's coming after me for no reason. That's really unfair. The thing about the advantage, I'm almost certain that I could get through this round without having to use it. But my strategy is dependent on other people thinking that I'm gonna use it. We could win this, Council. We being like the big part of Calico. We could win this just by sheer numbers because no one has an idle clue right now. I could either play it, get us all safe for sure, and then second round we like, like regroup and choose someone specifically. Because it also like narrows down, it narrows down the options quite a lot. So like five votes is enough to like get a it's like, plurality. Old Barbarossa still want to get Haz out, or you know, Phoenix or whoever. And I just don't want that to happen after everything that um, happened at last council. It still seems though, so, like obviously it's your call, but if you save it for 10 and they know you have to then use it, like, then it's like everyone can use it. Right, yeah. exactly. Which but is then, like a huge disadvantage. It could make this council not straightforward and just be like, Oh no, I'm saving my advantage for uh, when there's 10 people left and make everyone just vote certain ways and then make those people immune and then really be able to like get someone for sure. And the advantage to that part is I would be able to get someone to vote for me and like fully ensure that I'm not getting out. I vote for you, you vote for Troy, Troy vote for Stark, and so on. I play the idol. All of a sudden, not the end, the advantage, all of a sudden we're all immune because we all got a vote. Bro, so that's it's like, so we good! Can make anyone, it's like a group idol. The five of us who met to get tea all vote for each other, and that would make all of us immune for this round. And then from there we can see, you know, who everyone else voted for and where their loyalties lie, which I'm like, this is an amazing plan. I really like this. <laughs> this advantage is actually kind of overpowered, but I'm not complaining. We have a plan to vote each other out, like me, Troy, Stut. Sean and Phoenix, we're just gonna like vote each other out and then Sean will use his advantage thing, which he better, he will, he's going to. And so then we'll be okay and we'll get Vita out. I don't know where Vita's alliances lay or Vita's alliances lie and that could be an issue. Voting Mia because she has been lying a lot and um, like as a friend, she like completely like lost my trust and everything. I'm voting out Mia because she she was mean to Vita like personally. Um, and also like she's a really good athlete and she's very good in the competition. I don't really want to, but like, cause I can't even explain to her why we're voting her until after Survivor. I don't want to get into that. I feel like the Calico people have been tried and tested at this point, like together and like voting together. So I feel like that's just going to be something that I have to just try and like convince Phoenix about. It's, it's either Phoenix flips this or Emily goes home, I think, which could be fucking awful. Obviously, it's Mia. Yeah. And then this morning, Vita stepped in to save Mia once again. As she once does. again. As she Despite the fact that Mia has fucked over Literally her and worse. us as a group. It's very easy for people to want to target me next because I would say Vita is a bigger target than I am, I hope. But like, people could like agree on me and be like, oh yeah, let's just take Lexi out. Vita needs to realize that Mia is a guaranteed vote for her if she makes it to the final. Yeah. Which is why I would say get her out now. I'm hoping that Phoenix will be awake <laughs> as soon as possible because I really need to talk to her and be like, look girl, he was bringing up your name. I don't know if that was a plan or what, but I'm telling you, Josiah's gonna have way too much power after this vote if he gets his way this time. What's really frustrating is, is that I feel like I probably shouldn't have I definitely shouldn't have told Emily about um, the text message fiasco, but I feel like I'm getting most of the blame for this when Mia was the one who broke their friendship's trust in the first place. Next we want to do, I want to do Josiah. Wait, I like him. Honestly, it might not be that good for me to get Josiah because like he likes me, I think, or like he wants to be like, like part oh he's also like friends with my roommate so like i feel like you wouldn't want to get your roommate's friend out your friend's roommate out i don't know though but like 
Oh no, I like him, but like, apparently he's a little weasel. <laughs> Emily, Emily calls him, a, he's a slimy weasel. I'm worried that Emily is gonna get voted out instead of Mia. So last minute, we are all trying to reach out to all the floaters and, and swing them to vote Mia. I don't know what I'm gonna tell Josiah and Mia. Probably that I'm just gonna like, vote Emily. I've also heard my name thrown around there and that annoys me just a little bit because I feel like I haven't done anything to prompt them to vote for me considering I've been like talking to them and giving them information. I'm going to talk to Troy and stop yep. and Sean and Theo and Josiah. Yep. tell them that we're going for me. If the vote goes well, we'll get Emily out of the game and she won't be a threat anymore. There's going to be no idol in play because since the, since the merge, we haven't gotten an idol clue. So I think that it'll be relatively easy and uh, I hope that there will be no, no stress. This advantage is great because it puts me in a really unique position where I have more power than anyone else in this group. I think our voting circle will work and we will save Emily by convincing, you know, Kian Josiah to vote for her, I think that will keep Emily safe. I feel like it could be anyone. <laughs> I'll be honest, it could be anyone except Kian because, you know, he has immunity. Blackbeard crew, welcome to your first merge council uh, as a merged crew. Uh, first off, happy Halloween. Uh, hope everybody has a great Halloween. Uh, has last council was pretty dramatic. We saw an idol play. We saw somebody go home that people weren't maybe expecting to go home. How has that vote kind of shaped uh, the dynamics coming into the merge? I definitely think there's a lot of tension and some ties are broken and people are probably mad at me, but um, I think. Uh, in the future, we could work past it as like the numbers dwindle. If I think no matter like who goes home, even if it's me, like as the numbers get out, we can get closer. Lexi, has mentioned ties being broken. Uh, I mean, just looking at the numbers, there are more original Calico people here than original Barbarossa. Uh, is that a concern for you? I feel like no matter what, that would be a concern for anyone, just because it's very easy for the Calico people to like get together. Um, but, you know, hopefully that isn't what's happening. Keon, let's talk about the challenge. Uh, you were the first individual immunity winner uh, by stacking the cups. Do you think that that was an essential challenge for you to win uh, coming into the merge? Or do you think that it potentially just put a target on your back? Uh, no, no, I, uh, I think it was a, a good challenge for myself to win because it allows me uh, during the merge to talk to a lot of people more freely rather than being worried about people maybe lying to me or people and voting me out, I think you gave me a good opportunity to talk to a lot of people. And hopefully, it is something that benefits my game, not hurts my game. Josiah, let's talk about this round. It's 13 people, so almost as many as were in the shipwreck, um, but with a little bit of higher stakes now that everybody's going to the jury. How have the dynamics been this round? Have people been kind of settled on one person, or are the names just flying out of everybody's mouth. I think they're flying, to be honest. They're flying everywhere. Uh, it, it, there, there's been some talking, but no real decision for the most part. So it's really going to be interesting to see who goes home this round. Vita, Josiah says there's no decision that's been made. We're at council. Do you think that's the truth? Or do you think that there is going to be a, a big blind side today? Honestly, I don't know. Because like he is saying, like, like seven different names have been thrown out and i think people are still trying to figure it out last minute so i don't i'm not sure if we'll going to go who thinks that their name is out there all right we got phoenix stud troy vita has jesse josiah mia eight people with their hands up that's over half the crew if we would be remiss not to talk about advantages and idols too uh We've ha had several people go on voyages. Uh, Sean, Troy, Jesse, any of you feeling like there's something that could be played today? In terms of like my experience, like I didn't even think it was much of like a voyage per se, but for context, it was like during the shipwreck, like when I didn't have a crew. Um, and 
basically, I'm happy with what happened, and I'm happy with like the outcome of that voyage. But I definitely think that it's not making me overconfident in any sense of the word. Like I definitely am still totally on my toes, which is why I raised my hand. John, what about you? I mean, the past like three councils have been super stressful, and like no one knew what was happening going into them. And so, I mean, obviously, I don't know what anyone else here is thinking, or like Troy or Justin specifically. So, I don't know. I don't know if we need more drama than this council already is at this point. So we're getting kind of like two different sides of things right now. We're getting, this is really boring and nobody has an idea of what's going on. And then we've got, on the other hand, it's super dramatic and it's crazy. So, Lily, which is it? It's crazy. <laughs> like, I feel like every day is something new, and like it's hard to keep track of, and then, like, like it's like definitely, like, I don't think any of like if you asked like all of us in the room, like what we're thinking, we're all gonna have something different, and like all of us are like, like I don't care about like, like, Last question before we vote, Troy. What are the vibes are like right now? The vibes, the vibes are off the charts today. I think everyone, everyone is feeling a lot of stress. And I think whatever happens, which for the record, I honestly am not sure what will happen, but whatever happens, I think there will be some relief after this photo. All right, we're gonna start with Phoenix. Sean, thank you so much for saving my life. But if you don't go through with it, I hate your guts and you deserve nothing. Troy, I love you. This is nothing personal. I never thought this day would come. But You really scared the hell out of me. You kind of just lost my trust, and I think you need to get voted out because I don't know if you're gonna go for me at this point. I don't know what you're gonna do, so we just gotta get you out. I really hope this is saving her and not pushing her over the edge. Going home, this is all just part of the plan. He will rise from the ashes. <laughs> I'll go tally the votes. I have the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol or an advantage and wants to play one, now is the opportunity to do it. I mean, now that you mention it, I do have this advantage in my pocket that I have been wanting for a while. So, might as well. Anybody out here, please? Mm -hmm. All right, this is the mop the deck advantage. Uh, I'll just read the description. You have received the Mop the Deck advantage. This advantage is played at council. If played, the advantage will cancel all of the votes. It will then go to a revote. However, there is a twist. No one will be able to vote for anyone who received votes that round. You will have a couple minutes to strategize. You must use this when there are either 16, 13, or 10 people left in the game. I'll read the votes. Uh, nobody in this urn will be able to be voted out. First vote. Mia. Just one vote, Mia. 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 That was four votes for Mia that don't count. Mia. Five votes for Mia that don't count. Emily. That's one vote for Emily that does okay. not count. Emily excited that she can't be voted out. <laughs> Emily, that's two votes for Emily. <laughs> Sean, that's one vote for Sean. 
Stutt. That's one vote for Stutt. Troy. Hey. Troy cannot be voted. Right <laughs> Has. Next vote. Phoenix. Last vote. Josiah. That leaves only Lily, Lexi, Vita, and Jesse as the eligible options for this vote. Everybody will vote. Everybody will have around five minutes to discuss in this room and outside. Uh, after which we will go to a revote where one of the four of you will be the first juror of Scotty Survivor Pirates Plunge. You'll have five minutes to talk starting now. Proceed to vote for me. It's okay though, my team's got my back. You're going in the end. Just because we have to? Like, no. I have a reason for this one. Yeah. You're still hoping it's not you. Wait, I was trying to remember who was voting out. I'm pretty sure I'm voting out Jesse. But not that I want to. I love you. I really wish I didn't have to. But this is because we're trying to vote out each other. I'll go tell the votes. Okay, I'm going to vote for Lexi. I have the votes. Once the votes are read, the decision is final, and the person voted out will be asked to leave the council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Vita. That's one vote, Vita. Jesse. That's one vote, Vita. One vote, Jesse. Lexi. That's one vote, Vita. One vote, Jesse. One vote, Lexi. Ten votes for me. Lily. One vote Lexi, one vote Lily, one vote Vita, one vote Jesse. Vita. Lexi. 
We're tied at two for Lexi and Vita, one each for Lily and Bessie. Vita. Vita. That's four votes Vita, two votes Lexi, one vote Lily, one vote Jesse, five votes left. And the next vote, and the eighth person voted out of Scotty Survivor Pirates Plunge and the first member of our jury, Vita. Vita, please bring your torch. Vita, your ship has sailed. It's time for you to go. Well, maybe it is really a good thing to have individual immunity because every other single person in this room got a vote tonight. You can never know what you're gonna expect at a merge council. Have a good day. Next time on Scotty Survivor. Hi guys, we all know it's four versus eight right now. While you could make a boring TV show and vote us out one by one, you're going to have to take each other out eventually. You can use us to take out your threats now. I love OG Barbarossa. Um, you know, I actually saw this coming. I had a feeling people thought uh, Mia and I were in alliance, but like we were not at all. So I think that was also an issue. Um, but yeah, I hope one of OG Barbarossa makes it to top three. I doubt it, but. I hope on them too, Palico. I mean, it was good strategy, so I can't be mad about it. <laughs>